one of the things that was quite unusual about your journey was when you left the company, you decided to talk to the entire company mm -hmm. and tell them exactly why you were leaving, yeah. tell them about the mental health journey that you'd been through, mm -hmm. be very, very open about it, yep. um, even though there's some risk. Uh, so for me, the reason I chose to do that was really that trying to turn something negative into something positive. Hmm. Um, trying to help other people, whether they were going through something similar or they would in the future, have the confidence to do the things that I couldn't, hmm. which was to feel like I could reach out for help or to feel like I could take a break. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, that, that was not anything the company did wrong. It was an internal belief that I think many people hold that you can't show that kind of weakness. You can't raise your hand and say, I'm struggling. Mm -hmm. And instead, you know, I'm hidden washrooms. So it was about hiding and isolation as opposed to being open and sharing and looking for support and kind of betting on the good nature of, uh, of, of other people. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think it really again came back from how do you take something that was negative and difficult and hard and painful mm -hmm. and make it into something that can be powerful for someone else. And what was the reaction when you spoke to people? Was there, you know, was there any negative consequence of it? No. And I, I think that's one of the, uh, maybe the biggest uh, misconceptions is that people are going to react negatively. Mm -hmm. There might be people that react negatively, but they're not going to be the ones that are going to come and tell oh. you. <laughs> right. uh, and I don't think you should care about those people. Mm -hmm. I think what you see every time, for me, time and time again, it's people come up and share their story. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is the most powerful um, part of the experience is that you can start a dialogue that people aren't typically having. Mm -hmm. And I think it goes a step even further, which is that um, people do want to help. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think the perceived risks of what does it mean to lose my job, et cetera, are, are still real. And I wouldn't pretend to know. I mean, we're, we're very privileged here in this community mm -hmm. to to work at some of the best companies in the world with some of the best leaders in the world, that's not everyone's situation. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I still believe that there are for sure parts of this world uh, and even in North American business where reaching out and telling the story has a lot, carries a lot of risk. Mm -hmm. From my perspective though, that risk is worth the, the downside mm -hmm. of having to live in fear in an environment where you, know, you, you can't be healthy because mm -hmm. the reality is, um, for many people, these issues are life and death. And uh, I think it needs to be kind of thought of that way.